hello friends welcome back to this new video tutorial today i'll show you how to create this online order delivery progress and status tracker sheet in microsoft excel if you have an e-commerce business and you want to track the order delivery progress in microsoft excel sheet then this video might be useful for you first of all i'll explain the features and how to operate this sheet then i will start showing you how to create this sheet in microsoft excel in this sheet i have total seven columns these five columns is for tracking the progress of the order after completing each stage of the order you have to mark the checkbox this progress column will show the progress of the order delivery in percentage and this status column will show the status of the order delivery for example here i have put some order ids after getting the order from your customer you have to first input the order ids then click on this checkbox because you have already received the order and when you marked this checkbox here you see the status is given as order received and the progress is given as 25 percent when you do the packaging of the order then mark the packaging done checkbox and the progress will go to 50 percent and the status is given as packaging done so these two columns will automatically update and here you have to complete each step in sequence i mean to say if you try to click on delivered without completing out for delivery then you will not be able to click on this checkbox here you see when i click on it excel will prevent this from clicking because the previous step is not completed when you click on out for delivery here you see out for delivery is given now you can click on the delivered and when all the four checkbox are marked the status is given as delivered so this is how the system works let's start learning how to create this in excel for that let me go to this new sheet in the a1 cell write the heading that is online order delivery progress and status tracking sheet in the row number three put the required column header these are order id order received if you want to include the image like i have included here then you can double click on the cell then press window plus dot key in the keyboard this will open the emoji window where you can select the images for order received let me select this image here you see the image is inserted close this in the next cell write packaging done and select the image by pressing window plus dot key then select the image for packaging down let me take this image similarly the next uh, column header is out for delivery and in the image let me select this image the next column header required is delivered and uh, take a uh, image for delivered let me select this image the next one is progress percentage and finally the status now select the column header and the rows below it here i am selecting till row number 100 for example but you can increase this according to your requirement then apply the border here by going to border tool now to add here the check boxes select from order received till the delivered then go up to row number 100 then click on the insert tab click on check box this will insert the check box here if you want to change the color of the check box you can go to the home tab then select a different color from here this way here i don't need this h column so let me delete this before using the formula in the progress and status column let me add here some order ids for example let me mark the order received checkbox because when the order id is created it means the order is already received so after putting the order id immediately mark the order received checkbox now here in this cell to calculate the progress percentage we have to use this formula press equal to then use count if function open bracket in the range parameter select the checkbox range from order received to delivered 
put a comma in the criteria we have to put the value for the marked checkbox that is the true so put here true then close bracket press enter the count is given is one because only one checkbox is marked now to calculate the progress percentage we have to divide this count of the marked checkbox by the total number of checkbox so double click on the formula put the division symbol then use here the count a function count a bracket open then in the value one select the checkbox range then close bracket press enter now convert this to percentage formatting by clicking on the percentage symbol in the home tab then drag the formula down till the row number 100 and here when there is no order id it is given as zero percent if you want to hide these zero percentage and show the progress automatically when a new order id is added here you can combine the if function in the formula so double click on the first formula click at the beginning add the if function bracket open in the logical test check whether the order id has some value so click on the first order id is not equal to that is given by the less than and greater than symbol together then put a double quotation twice it means blank so i am checking here whether the order id is not blank then put a comma in the value if true or if this logic is true then this formula will calculate the result here click at the end of the formula put a comma in the value if false put double quotation twice which will display blank if this logic is not true or if the order id doesn't have any value now close the bracket and press enter double click on this formula to fill it down and here you see when there is order id the calculation is given and when there is no any order id the calculation is hidden as soon as you add here a new order id for example od0005 here you see the calculation is given next you have to display here the status of order so here the formula will be press equal to then use the x lookup function bracket open in the lookup value parameter of x lookup function put the value for the marked checkbox that is given by true so type here true in the lookup array parameter select the checkbox range put a comma in the return array parameter select the heading range from order received to delivered then lock this range by pressing the F4 key in the keyboard which will apply the dollar symbols here then put a comma in the if not found parameter put a double quotation if the function doesn't find any marked checkbox then it will display blank here then put a comma skip this match mode parameter by putting another comma in the search mode we have to select this search last to first option because we have to find out the marked checkbox from right to left direction let me show you what does this mean so let me put here a single quotation at the beginning of the formula let me mark the packaging done and out for delivery checkboxes in this case the xlookup function should search in right to left direction and when the first marked checkbox is found it should pick up the value from here so let me go here in the formula double click on this remove the single quotation before it click at the end and here in the search mode i have to take this search last to first option then close bracket press enter and here you see the status is given as out for delivery progress is 75 percent if i unmark this the status is given as packaging done if i unmark this the status is order received if i mark all the four check boxes the status is now delivered now you can drag this formula down till the last row next we have to apply here a conditional formatting as you can see in the first sheet the color of text automatically changes in every step of order delivery here you see the color gets changed so to do this you can use the conditional formatting for that select the range from g4 to g100 click on conditional formatting in the home tab 
click on highlight cell rule then go to this equal to option and here in this format cell that are equal to you have to put the value that is order received so put here order received you have to also put this in graphics that you have used select this graphics close this and here click on the drop down go to custom format go to the font tab and here take a font for order received for example for order received i will take this orange color then click on ok again click on ok i think this color is not properly visible so let me edit the rule by going to conditional formatting manage rules double click on this rule and go to format let me take this color so that it will be clearly visible like this now for packaging down let's apply a different formatting for that go to conditional formatting manage rule then click on this rule then click on duplicate rule click on edit rule and here in the order received we have to change this to packaging done so remove order received and put here packaging done then also put here the image that is used then click on the format button and here select a different color for packaging done let me take the blue color then click on ok ok now make another copy of the rule by clicking on the duplicate rule then edit this duplicated rule change this packaging down to out for delivery click on the format button and here let's take this green color for out for delivery again create a duplicate of the rule then edit the rule change this out for delivery to delivered go to the format button and here in the color for delivered order let me take this purple color then click on ok ok apply and ok now when you click on the checkbox here you see for packaging down it is given as blue color for out for delivery it is given as green color and for the delivered order it is given as the purple color these colors you can change according to your requirement now when you add here multiple orders then you have to scroll it down in that case the heading part becomes invisible so to lock them you can click on this a4 cell then go to view tab click on freeze panes then click on the freeze pane option now if you scroll down the heading parts remain fixed the next thing we have to do here is the data validation because currently if i select the out for delivery without selecting the packaging down the checkbox is marked but here in this previous sheet when i try to mark the out for delivery without selecting packaging down it's not clickable and this is necessary to follow the sequence for that we have to do the data validation because this gives a wrong result here in the progress it is given as 50 percent only because here i have skipped this packaging down checkbox so to prevent this we can use here the data validation for that select from packaging down to delivered and up to the row number 100 then go to data tab click on data validation option here in this drop down select custom and here in the formula we have to write this formula equal to b4 equal to true this will check whether the previous columns checkbox is marked or not if the previous columns checkbox is marked then it will allow user to click on the next columns checkbox now you can click on ok and here if i try to click on this out for delivery without selecting packaging done here you see this checkbox is not clickable it means i must complete the previous step before going to the next step if i click on packaging done then this out for delivery is clickable if i click on delivered without selecting the out for delivery here you see this is not clickable i must click on out for delivery first 
then i can click on the delivered now everything is ready now you can start tracking the progress of your order delivery in this excel sheet if you want to practice the formulas or if you want to use this tracker sheet you can download this from the link given in the video description below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up by hitting on that like button and also subscribe the channel if you are new here thank you so much for watching see you again in next video tutorial